So getting up after a fall. Practice getting up after you've fallen before you go up at the chairlift. Because once you go up the chairlift, let's just face it, you're going to fall. So here are a few different tips to help you get up after you've fallen. So if you've fallen, you're going to want to get your board across the slope. So before you start standing up, you might need to crawl and pivot yourself around so that your board's across the slope. If you've fallen up the hill, which is usually the best way to fall, is up the hill, then you're going to be facing up the hill on your toes, or if you're on your heels, you're going to be sitting down facing down the hill. Usually the easiest way to get up is actually off your hands and knees, and that's called your toe side. So you're facing up the hill, you walk your hands slowly towards your board, you kind of stick your, your backside up, and then all at once you, you can stand up, but you don't want to make too big of a movement because depending on what type of slope you are on, you might slide down. If you're on your hillside edge, a lot of the times this can be harder. You might want to roll over, just put one foot over the other and roll over to your stomach. But if you can't, or you think that this is fine to get up off your heels, place your, your hand in between your, your feet and grab your board and then push with your other hand. So it's kind of a, a movement where you're, you're all rolled up, you're kind of bending down to grab the board and the back hand's pushing and you, you can stand up. That's a little bit harder. I recommend you trying to get up off of your toes. Uh, if you can get up off of your heels, that's great. This is just one of the many tutorials that we have. Sign up for the full course at flowingfruit.com.